It puts a shell on my skin that lets people know who I am. The way you dress reflects on who you actually are. Exquisite and masculine. Define my style in two and a half words. I am fun. Fun can be fanatical, yeah. So my first foray into fashion was because of black and white movies and vintage. I went first and foremost for vintage, like really haute couture and high fashion. Joy. Joy inspires my fashion. I waited 22 years to get some trousers to complete a suit. Now can you imagine the joy that I found when I finally got them? Go to museums, go to um, exhibitions, go to places that actually put together really good mannequin displays and look at that look and look at that style. And the rest is history. Um, how would I describe my uh, daily fashion? I like to look very classy, you know, because I really believe that, you know, people don't really have the second chance to make the first impression. So, what you're wearing inspires people to look at their best and be the best versions of themselves. Every man. Uh, needs to have their own vision of uh, themselves because everybody has different personalities and the way you dress reflects on who you actually are and how you carry yourself you know what in what manner and uh, that's a necessity for every man i think if you ask me um i think it's shoes shoes is really important i think shoes tells a lot about a person you know um shoes and how clean you keep the shoes <laughs> For me to transition from uh, from an Arabic culture with like very limited uh, fashion, uh, you know, choices, I get to choose my own. I get to really choose who I want to be, and then really present me and show people, you know, this is how this is what I believe in. You know, this is how I choose to, you know, present me. And uh, yeah, yeah. Um, to not judge people, not judge at all. You might see, you know, people from a, you know, from a different places, different cultures, and you might think it's crazy or like you might think it's cool. But like, let people be who they are, and you know, you get to choose whether that's that's something you're interested in, you want to do or not. Probably my vest, because that's the thing I wear the most. I would, yeah, my vest. I don't even know how to describe it. I, some days I'm more preppy, and then other days I feel like I'm more edgy, so I mean, given the two, I'm in between there. I would say, just whatever you're attracted to, just wear it. I mean, and you'll come up with a color palette through that, and you'll, you'll realize like what pieces look good on you and what pieces don't, and what colors look best on your skin tone. Go on Instagram and like Pinterest and stuff like that and just see like pictures of other men who wear nice things and just see like what you like. That's what I would say. I feel like Pharrell for like color palette and then like Kikari for like edginess. I don't like waiting for stuff so I hate shopping online but when I do shop online I buy things like Italian leather bands. I like H&M for the most part, they was kind of lacking for a couple years and then they came back at it. And then besides that time, prior to that, I was at Urban Outfitters, yeah, Urban Outfitters lacking. Do you look at people who have style? I think that's how you get better, honestly. Sharp. Exquisite. And masculine. 
I could explain something very uh, in depth to somebody and they may not take me as serious unless, you know, I'm in this attire or I'm in a suit. They, they immediately the respect level as opposed to um, having to gain their respect and then from there on out, you know, so I think it's a little more than just uh, garments. That man in that suit will be remembered. I, I go to I go I've gone to clubs or and I'm talking about dance clubs in a suit. I don't mind. I don't mind sticking out. Don't be afraid. A lot of times people are afraid to be unlike the people around them. You know, it's kind of instinctive. You want to be like your surroundings or the people around you. So if your friends, your homeboys, or whoever are not dressed this way, then you become an outcast. You, know, you can't be afraid. You're trendset. It's cool.